What's up guys and welcome to my first Madden 17 Ultimate Team player review. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Football Outsiders Thomas Rawls special card for the Seattle Seahawks. If you guys don't know, Thomas Rawls is from Flint, Michigan, right from where I am from. So this is kind of cool. I know a lot about him. We're going to go ahead and take a look at his face card stats here. 89 speed, 85 agility, 88 acceleration, 90 carrying, 91 ball carrying vision, 80 elusiveness, 91 trucking, and 88 juke moves. He's also got the bruising back chemistry, which I'm going to talk a lot about about later it gives him one plus one trucking plus one stiff arm and i think plus one impact obviously you have to complete the set to get this card which is still available he showed great ability a great ability excuse me in 2015 and is poised to break out in 2016 75 strength 85 agility guys 89 speed 88 acceleration 89 awareness uh, 90 carrying he also has 87 jumping 91 trucking um, 91 ball carrying vision like i said 84 stiff arm 87 juke move um, 88 juke move, excuse me, 87 spin move, um, and he also, guys, has good, decent route running, 66, uh, 62 release, and yeah, guys, we're going to go back to the face card here, I am super excited, obviously the Seahawks are my favorite team, so I felt it was definitely needed for me to get this card, at the time, it took me about 70k to build him, now he costs about 50, so let's get into those highlights. We're now going to start off here, guys, with a nice little run for Thomas Rawls, you're going to get to see the highlights, I'm going to go over his pros and cons which you will see um, at the end in the overall summary as you guys can see he's always going forward um, when he runs he's actually going to break off one here and I'm sorry about the lag at the end he does the break the tackle um, from the oncoming defender um, for this online head-to-head -head matches all these games are online as well guys but my first pro for Thomas Rawls guys a huge part of that bruising back chemistry style is his trucking he's great at running over defenders he's a balanced back but he leans more towards power um, rather than speed and that is basically just kind of his running style and what you can expect from him he's a decent um, pass catcher as you guys will see right here breaks a tackle just kind of breaks off um, I think after this play, this guy actually rage quit from the game or something like that. I don't know. It was pretty bad. Um, but, guys, his second pro, right back to that bruising back uh, chemistry, is his strength, guys. He's super strong, knows how to break tackles. As you can see right there, just uh, stupid. Just stupid how you can't even wrap him up in the backfield. And at times, guys, when he did get stopped in the run, I would have blamed my offensive line. I mean, he's still breaking a couple tackles before they even brought him down. It was really crazy. I actually had a ton of fun playing with this card. I hope you guys enjoy these kind of reviews. Um, I, I haven't done a Madden review before. I stick to FIFA reviews, but I hope you guys kind of get into this. I'm not sure if anyone really does this throughout the Madden community, so I'm excited to kind of get these started for my channel. My third pro, guys, is his breaking tackle. His break tackle, excuse me. I'm right there. He didn't break that one, um, but guys, he does a very good job. Right back to the bruising back chemistry, which I need to get the full back with the bruising back chemistry, so it's completely activated, um, so you can just go off on people but the break tackle is amazing on Thomas Rawls' special card I think his overall on his regular card is like 74 this one's 86 which is actually a huge boost and Thomas Rawls de definitely excuse me deserves it um now I do have one con for Thomas Rawls guys and it's actually not even that big of a deal um for this running style it is his agility even though he has decent ratings he didn't feel very agile he didn't really juke anyone out or hit a spin move on someone it was more of just kind of like powering lowering the head powering through the runs um he was a very good receiving back like i said but his agility really for me didn't feel like it was there in the four games um that i played now i wanted to display the stats guys but a few guys rage quit and i didn't i wasn't able to pick them up but i'll just let you guys know that he did i think through the four games have six touchdowns i think he had over 400 yards rushing uh, maybe even more than that, but some games were quit before the fourth quarter, so it's hard to tell. We're now going to look at the overall rating, guys. I gave him a 9.4 out of 10 on the 10 scale rating, which is a very, very good review. This is my first review, so he's kind of like the starter point of how I'm going to review running backs from now on. Obviously, I want to get wide receivers, defensive players, quarterbacks especially out there, and maybe even some legends in the future. You guys see his pros and cons right there, obviously his card as well. Let me know down in the comments. If you guys want me to review anyone in specific, a new card that's just come out, a legend, a flashback card, please let me know. If you're from the Madden community and are new to my channel, I do a lot of FIFA and I'm going to do some Madden from now on. So please go ahead, like, and subscribe. I appreciate feedback. Leave those down in the comment 
Thanks again for watching out this or watching this video. Excuse me. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And until next time, I will talk to you later.